What's up everyone, Wizzy Ken here with another Xbox 360 World of Tanks video. Today we're going to be starting on our new tank line, the mouse line. That's the line we're going to be going down. Uh, and the tank we're going to be starting on that line is the Tiger P. Now, uh, before we get into this, I want to announce a couple things. One, I've been working hard on getting the 4K subscriber party set up. I've got a couple dates picked out. I'm going over them with my wife just to make sure that I can spend the entire day doing it. It's going to be hopefully on a Sunday. I am not going to give out the exact date yet just in case some people are like, Hey, well, you gave out this date and uh, it wasn't really the real date. I missed it. Um, I don't want that to happen. So anyways, uh, so that is in the works. I've got a lot of things set up. I've already got the contest ready so that you guys can win some cool stuff. Now, uh, some of the contest stuff you have to be here to, to do and some of the stuff uh, because I'm what I'm gonna do is have you guys actually play with me uh, there's gonna be certain contests uh, like for example you have to out damage me and certain things like that so that's how some of the contests are gonna run for some of the like bigger items there are some things that you guys are just gonna randomly get in chat so even if you can't make it I'm gonna be giving away uh, you know a couple things inside of chat um, you know just randomly pick somebody something like that and give you guys like Xbox codes and stuff like that uh, so you don't have to be here exactly to actually participate you just have to be in the twitch chat when we do it and stuff like that so it's gonna be a lot a lot of fun I can't wait to uh, be able to do this the next thing is is as you guys might have known uh, I did upload a video it wasn't the most amazing uh, video of uh, world of warships I <laughs> the whole day yesterday I wanted to say like oh if you buy this premium tank and I had to remind myself I'm playing warships not tanks uh, it's going to be one of those things uh, hard for me to <laughs> get out of my system and get used to same warships instead of or battleship or cruiser whatever I'm going to be using. So, um, but anyways, uh, I did fix the OBS. I tested it out this morning, um, and it looks like I have all the settings set up perfectly for uh, at least live streaming. With that, I still haven't set up the recorder. So when I do uh, the uh, like you know looking at the the ships and stuff like that. For right now, we're just going to be doing live streams of that, um, of the uh, warships. I am going to do some recordings of just me doing battles because I understand a lot of you guys are like, holy crap, the last couple of videos have been like three hours long. It's because I've been doing live streams and I don't want people to be able to, you know, I don't want you guys to miss any of the live stream stuff. That's why I put it on YouTube. But I do understand a lot of you guys like the 10, 15 minute videos. Trust me, I do not want to get away from that. I want to be able to still do videos like I'm doing today, uh, 15 to 20 minutes. But for right now, uh, Warships will be mostly live stream, and I will do recordings here, there, of just battles. It's just because I'm still learning all the aspects of the game. I'm still learning the ships. I don't want to sit there and give out, uh, you know, false information or bad information and stuff like that, and have to keep correcting myself. So when I start getting used to the game and stuff like that, we're going to be doing that uh, very regular. Unlike War Thunder. Uh, like I said, we're going to do those on my days off and try to put up videos here and there. But uh, I told you guys, as soon as the warships, as soon as I got the beta key and stuff like that, I will be working on that pretty hard because I feel like it will eventually come to um, Xbox One. I don't think it's going to come to 360, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, this is just my thoughts on it. Uh, this is nothing confirmed by Wargaming or anything like that. So don't go on the forums and be like, oh my god, you guys are coming to 360. Um, I, you know, to be honest with you, I wouldn't see why they wouldn't want to come to 360. Um, I think it would be a great opportunity, especially if they're doing the same thing they're going to do with uh, World of Tanks, where you're going to be able to play with the 360 players, are going to be able to play with the Xbox One players. So I think that's uh, uh, one of the best ideas they could probably do. So, but anyways, yeah. So uh, my channel is going to be dedicated, like I said, to Xbox 360 World of Tanks, but we're going to also be adding in there a lot more of the warships because a lot of you guys are playing that game and a lot of you guys really like that stuff too and it's from the same company we should support them in that sense uh, there's some things I don't like about the company there's some things I don't like when they make certain decisions but all in all I mean I love wargaming you know games and uh, I will continue to support them until something really bad happens so uh, but hopefully nothing like that ever happens anyway so Alrighty guys, so we're going to be looking at the uh, German Tier 7 Tiger P. Wow, I haven't done a German line in a while. It's been a long time. And uh, I've never touched really the, uh, you know, heavy tanks or anything like that or medium tanks with uh, uh, World of Tanks. I, to be honest with you, the only time I've ever played these tanks is on uh, War Thunder. And uh, 
I'm, I'm really excited, but I'm really scared about this line too because a lot of you guys have been playing these tanks for a long time and I don't want to disappoint you guys. Um, <laughs> so the bar's up there. The standard is really high and I want to make sure I hit that every single time. But today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to do a review on the Tiger P on a later date. I'm still working on that last upgrade and I don't want to give a review on a tank that doesn't, you know, have its full potential. But I am going to be answering a question that I do get asked a lot. And, well, technically it's a couple different questions, but I'm going to sum it all together. Uh, some of the questions are, like, what tank line should I go down next? Or, uh, really, a lot of you guys are like, hey, Wizard Ken, we noticed that, you know, when you get a new tank, you're pretty, you know, you start getting bad asset on it really quickly. How do you do that? How do you start learning your tanks really, really quick? How do you start studying them and stuff like that? And I hope that made sense. Um, it made sense to me in my head when I was trying to repeat the question. But pretty much they wanted to know, like, how am I learning these tanks so quickly? How am I adjusting to every different tank? Because I see a lot of different tanks. I see, uh, you know, you guys notice me going down a whole bunch of different lines. And I finish them pretty quickly. But I'm not terrible at them. There are some tanks that I am bad. The uh, STB-1, I wasn't the most amazing at it. But I am getting better. Uh, but majority of the time, like, heavy tanks, medium tanks... Uh, not medium tanks, but heavy tanks, tank destroyers, and artilleries, I'm pretty decent at. Um, and that just comes with experience, too. Uh, a lot of the stuff I'm going to be talking about today uh, is stuff I've learned along the way. But uh, to be honest with you, sometimes it does just take experience. So uh, new players right now, uh, this is just a good thing to start doing, what I'm going to start talking about right here. Um, this is something that you might want to start looking into, but majority of the time, for new players, I'm like, just experiment with a couple different tanks, you know, medium tanks, heavies, tank destroyers, artillery. See what your niche is first, okay? Find out what you're really good at. And it's going to take time to figure out what tanks you're going to be good at and what you're not going to be good at. Uh, what, you know, also, I'm not lying, it's not just if it's a heavy tank, it's what country it's from too. Because, you know, like the French heavies are going to be completely different than the American line and the German lines and stuff like that just because of how they were built and different things like that. But you'll learn how to uh, hopefully uh, look at those tanks and figure out which way you want to play them by what I'm about to show you right now. So for you advanced players, this is a good thing for you guys to do every time you buy a new tank. I do this every single time. I show this also on the live stream. And this is how I prepare for when I just buy a tank. Now I've already taken this tank out, but I'm going to act like I haven't taken this tank out. I'm going to act like I'm a complete noob on this tank, and I'm going to, you know, to show you how I um, mess with it. So, anyways, um, so we'll just pretend right now we just bought the tank. We put a crew in there. As you can see, my crew's not that great in here. Um, I didn't have a great crew to put in here. Actually, I did. I did have, like, the Waffle E100 and the Panzer 9, um, or Tier, tier 9, um, to put in here and stuff like that. But, unfortunately, I didn't want to use those. Because I, those are like my XP builders, and I want to make sure they have the best crews in them. So I got what I had left over, which is this crew here. Uh, anyway, so we just bought the tank. And uh, first thing I do, of course, you want to put your supplies on really quickly uh, and stuff like that. But now I don't mess with any of this stuff. The armor piercing rounds, I don't change the rounds out right at the beginning. Uh, the reason why is because I don't really give a crap about what the... Uh, rounds are right now I want you know the final package to have the rounds I want specifically but right now when I'm just messing with the tank I'm not caring about the rounds I want to know about the tank so um, let's go into the first screen I would be looking at so all right here we go all right inside the tech tree the tiger P so basically I wanted to go down this line guys because this was going to be the easiest line to branch off of as you guys know I'm going to be going down the mouse line, the E100 line, and the uh, Yog Panzer E100 line. So this was the best line to choose to go down. Uh, instead of going like the Stug line and the VK line, this allows me to go back and forth. So uh, as you can see from the Tiger P, we can get all the way to the mouse. It can also allow us to unlock the Ferdinand and the Tiger. So this is why I, I like this line. Uh, if you guys haven't done the German line yet, this is a good line to go down so you can reach all those really awesome... Uh, you know, heavy tanks and also that tank destroyer, the Yog Panzer E100. So, I'm going to hit Y on the Tiger P, and this is what I first look at. You know, I look at the hit points, 1,350. So I'm low. okay, tier 7, it's not a bad amount of hit points. 
Uh, and this is exactly what I do when I review a tank too. I, I look at all this stuff. Uh, of course, I already know it beforehand because I do this right when I get the tank. But this is how I write down all my stats too. Uh, I noticed that the whole armor is 200. The speed is only 35 kilometers per hour, so I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna be a little sluggish. Uh, not terrible, but I am gonna be a little bit sluggish because if you look at the traverse speed, it's only 20. So I'm like, I'm gonna have a hard time sometimes turning left or right or being able to get into position quickly. So this is not gonna be one of those peekaboo tanks. Now, the whole armor is 200 on the front, 80 on the side, and 80 on the rear. The turret armor is 100 on the front, 80 on the side, 80 on the rear. So, um. The turret armor isn't the ma most amazing out there. I am gonna probably gonna get penned by uh, a good majority of the tanks that are tiered higher than me, like tier eights and nines. So if I do face those in a battle, I'm like a hold down position is not gonna be good for me at the moment. Now, at this moment in time, I don't know if the last package gives me a better turret. We're gonna find that out in a few minutes. But as we look at it right here as a stock tank. We're going to be like, okay, I'm going to have to be very careful against tier 9s uh, and tier 8s. Even tier 7s are going to be able to probably pen me there. Um, the whole armor, as you can see, 200. That's actually pretty badass. And so I'm thinking right now, uh, without looking at the actual body of the tank and examining it, which we're going to do later, uh, I could sit there and say, okay, this is actually uh, not a bad amount of whole armor. And if I angle it, I could probably get like 250 out of it. Maybe even a little bit more, 275, if I angle this just right. So, um, this is actually going to be a nasty tank in the front in the sense of the whole armor. Standard shell damage and stuff like that. I don't look at it here. I'll actually look in the package. Uh, rate of fire, 13 rounds a minute. Not bad at all. And I'll get my calculator out and I'll calculate like how much average damage this thing can do. And then I'll calculate it and see how much, you know, DPM or damage per minute if you didn't know what DPM is means damage per minute I can get with this gun and uh, the reason why you want to calculate that out is because you might unlock another package that you think oh man this gun does a little bit more penetration and uh, more damage but the rounds are only five rounds a, you know a minute or six rounds a minute so I'll calculate those two together and then I'll figure out hey well this package the stock package is actually better in a sense of DPM though I might be lacking in penetration and damage a little bit it's not enough to offset it um you know i i'm still going to do a lot more damage per minute with that stock gun so i want to stick with that one uh view range is 370 not bad and signal range 415 so i'm still going to be able to pick up the majority of the stuff on the map and, and stuff like that um after looking at all this stuff that's when i go to the package mm, excuse me <clears throat> trying to clear my throat so now I'm looking at this thing. I'm going to look at the first package right here once again, just so I can look at the penetration and stuff like that. Like I said, I'll calculate out the damage uh, per minute right now. I would do, you know, 135 times 13 and see what it comes out to. So, um, but I'm not going to do that right now. If you want to do that, you can. I'm trying not to make this uh, video too long in that sense. All right. So the first package we can go straight across to is this f21 it's got 105 centimeter and it's a tier 5 right now right now i could see that it's a tier 5 and i'm thinking to myself this has got to be a derpy gun this has got to be yeah it's going to be only 64 penetration 350 damage seven rounds a minute uh to me some people like those types of guns me personally i don't care for them uh, so i'm not even gonna care for doing it now for you beginner guys you might want to look at it Maybe you like it. Maybe it actually works for you. Uh, for a lot of us advanced guys, we can tell whether we're going to like a gun or not by just looking at that. And uh, I, I can tell you this. I don't care for it. Um, as you can see, also, this thing, like I said, branches off to a lot of nice tanks that we can reach. Uh, which is another thing. If you're going down a tank line or you want to go down a tank line or a new country, make sure you look down that whole um, tech tree. Because there might be a line you could go down to reach other tanks that you might want to get to. And if you go down the wrong one, you're going to be like, crap. I just spent all this time on this line where I can went down a different line and then shortcut it over. But that's more for those advanced players. Uh, I wouldn't try to shortcut too many if you're just a new player. Anyways, we have another package we can unlock. This is a tier 7 uh, gun. And we're looking at that and we're just like, okay, awesome. That, um, 
that might actually be pretty badass, but here we go. Alright, so we're looking at this thing. The penetration on this thing is 132. Uh, rate, uh, the rate of fire is 8.57. Uh, the damage is 220. So we're going to look. I have it written down right now. Um, we're going to look right now. The rate of fire on the stock gun was 13 rounds a minute. This one is only uh, 8 rounds a minute. So we are losing some rounds uh, compared to the stock gun. Penetration on the original stock gun is 150. This one's 132, so we actually lose in penetration, but the damage does go up uh, from 135 on the stock gun to the 220. So you're thinking in your head, okay, but this has got to be the better, you know, the better package. Not exactly. You do gain some more speed with this thing, but to be honest with you, I'm going to tell you right now, I actually do not like this gun. I did unlock it because I do have to unlock it to be able to go to the next tanks like the VK-45. Uh, and stuff like that but to be honest with you I'm sitting here thinking I don't know if I'm gonna like this tank because losing penetration is not really a good thing uh, you know what you can have right now I could have like 700 damage on this thing and the penetration could drop down to a hundred and I could be like but I could do 700 damage and the thing is is if you can't pen anybody you know and your heat rounds don't make up for it um, then there's no reason to get the barrel so pretty much damage doesn't mean everything in this in that sense um i would seriously stick with the stock gun i like the stock gun some people like this one uh but in the live streams a lot of people were like they didn't care for the uh for this package they were like they'd rather have the extra di uh penetration because in all in all um if i remember right when i you know looked at the dpm of this gun and the other gun they were kind of uh pretty much similar um, actually, I think the stock gun might have done more. Uh, you know what? We might as well just go ahead and calculate this out right now because I don't want to give you guys false information on this. So we're going to do the, um, the DPM for the stock gun right now. And that was, okay, like I said, 13.04 rounds a minute. We're just going to do 13. And we're going to times that by 135, which equals 1,755 damage per minute if you can get all 13 rounds off now we're going to look at the 88 and that's 8.57 rounds a minute we'll just go ahead and upgrade that to nine rounds a minute okay and we'll just say you have a decent crew in there and that also is times 220 equals 1980 so the stock gun does a little bit less damage uh, uh dpm per minute but the thing is the thing is seriously 200 damage is not that big of a deal that's it's about 200 damage difference so um i'd rather stick with the better penetration to be honest with you Alrighty. so uh, the next thing i do too after i figure out like okay this gun i might go to um you know i know i'm not going to go to this one so this is the the way i'm going to go because i have to and then i look over here to the last package because i wanted to know if the turret armor goes up now it does say i get a different turret i don't know what the design's going to be because unfortunately you can't look at those designs right now I would love to be able to look at the design and see how it changes uh, but unfortunately we don't get to look at that uh, so I kind of have to guess by the way most of the German line goes uh, it's probably not going to change really that much um, but you can see the turret armor doesn't matter still say it stays the same 100 on the front 80 on the side 80 on the rear so I'm kind of like unless this thing angles more it's the turret's not going to be like I don't even care if that I get a better turret um, it's not even a better turret it's still the same uh, thickness of armor like I said unless it actually got more angles on it and stuff like that then I would be like okay even though it's a hundred armor just like the last one I know if I angle stuff right it'll actually bounce and stuff alrighty um as we can see though we do get a bigger 88 centimeter on here uh, it does six rounds a minute um, or pretty much seven rounds so we'll go ahead and calculate that too. That's seven rounds times 240 equals 1,680. So we do lose in damage. We actually do a little bit less than the stock gun, but, but the reason why I will get this package is because of one thing. Look at that penetration, 203. You're gonna be seeing tier eights and tier nines with this thing. Okay, seven, tier seven, eight, nine. 203 penetration is pretty badass to be able to have, especially if you're still facing tier sixes. 
I mean, you're in a tier seven, you can see tier sixes and fives. You could be top dog in the game. And with that much penetration and damage, you're you're gonna be just fine. And even if you go against tier eight to nines, I mean, you still have to work them down. They're gonna have more hit points than you. Uh, but the thing is, you got enough penetration to be able to go through uh, a good amount of those tanks. So I'm actually pretty excited to get this one. Um, I'm not exactly excited for the aim time, but we'll deal with that as we go. So anyways, after I'm done looking at all this stuff, and I figure out which way I'm going to go on this, um, I go back to the garage, and then I look at the tank. Just like we do when we review a tank, we look at the armor weakness and stuff like that. I know we didn't do that with the Japanese tank, but... Uh, pretty much majority of the lines that I've gone down, I do a review on how I like the armor and stuff like that and the weak spots. Uh, I do have an app that I use on my phone to look at the weak spots. There are also websites you guys can go, go to. Pretty much when I'm looking up for the pictures to use in the videos, what I do is I just put in World of Tanks. Um, I just put that in the search bar. And then I also put in there like, um, we'll just say World of Tanks Hellcat weak spots. If you type all that in there and then you click on image, like if you're going through Google, just click on image and it'll come up with a whole bunch of different images of weak spots and stuff like that. Um, and you can just look at all the weak spots that people have put out there. And that's how I do it. So I could look at what they're saying the weak spots are and this and that. And then I copy and paste those uh, weak spots uh, into the uh, editor and then I put them into the video so that you guys could see it too. But that's how. You can look them up if you don't have an app on your phone or, you know, uh, and you don't know exactly what the weak spots are in the tank. So, anyways, but if I don't look it up right now, uh, I can pretty much tell you there's going to be certain spots that I could just recognize right now. There are going to be weak spots starting on the front. I mean, of course, the lower plate is going to be uh, a weak spot, but that upper plate, I do remember, it's going to be 200 um, in the sense of... Uh, of armor and I guess maybe even that flat spot up there might even be 200 but that's where I have to look at the app to kind of see how much the armor rating is and there's different different pictures there's different pictures that are going to show you the actual weak spots and there's different pictures that are going to show you the thickness you need to look at both of those so you can understand where the thicknesses are and stuff like that I do see that the upper plate is a little bit angled but then it you know drops off and then goes straight up and down vertically if we could look on the side, it pretty much is straight up and down. It is angled a little bit, uh, but I do see that uh, uh, it kind of looks like it is a, a type of spaced armor, or not spaced armor, but thicker armor right there. So I'm going to guess that is 200, because uh, you can see those rivets right there, and you can see where there's welds on the side of where this gunner port is and the viewport is, and uh, you can see that there's like a little gapage right there um, where they welded it up. And I'm guessing that's going to be 200 thickness right there. But like I said, unless I look it up, I can't beat for sure. But best bet, you know, just guessing, that is going to be a pretty thick spot. Um, you can see there the viewports. And there's a pretty decent gapage underneath the turret and between the turret and the uh, holes of the body. So I'm going to sink right there. It's going to be a nasty spot. I don't have a lot of armor on that turret anyways in the front. And I'm guessing I'm probably going to get my ass... Uh, my turret knocked out uh, quite a bit with this tank. Moving on to the sides and stuff like that, I can see there's no uh, spaced armor and it's pretty flat on the sides. That would explain that 80, um, that uh, 80 armor on the side. So pretty much, I don't want to give any of this away. Um, moving to the rear, of course, it's angled and I have bounced. I have bounced, but uh, it's been lucky. So I, I pretty much know it's not going to be the most amazing. And of course, this side's going to be the same way. I can see that uh, this probably has the engine in the rear. Most German tanks do have them in the front and stuff like that, from what uh, I could tell and uh, from what I've seen. That's why they catch a fire pretty easily. I think that's where they're sitting. But um, yeah, the engine's on the rear on this one. All right, so looking at the turret, you could see uh, it's pretty round. Even though it has 100 armor, it is pretty round. And. Uh, the thing is, though, like some people were telling me in the stream, uh, you can see where the uh, German symbol right there is. Um, and, uh, yeah, the cross right there. And uh, they're saying that's a pretty bad spot to get hit because when you face somebody, like we're doing right now, it's kind of a flat area. And uh, you're going to get penetrated, and I have gotten penetrated there. But if they shoot you, uh, try to shoot you there from an angle like this or this, it looks like they're going to bounce. 
and uh, from my experience I have bounced from it. Uh, this thing is pretty rounded all the way around, uh, but I have been pretty much penetrated um, on, all around this thing. Uh, it's been the front that's been helping me out and bouncing and stuff. The one thing that's been pissing me off with this tank, and uh, even if I haven't taken this tank out like we're pretending we haven't, look at that commander's hatch. Now we know from experience that German tanks commander's hatches have been shitty. I mean, E75 is a spot that I shoot at uh, because that is a bitch tank sometimes and, and he likes to hold, uh, have hold down positions or really angle himself so I can't even hurt that lower plate. But most of these German tanks have some nasty uh, uh, commander hatches that, you know, uh, all of us shoot at them and we hit them and they die. Kind of sucks that they die from it. It's not fair to that person. Uh, especially since we're using a hit point system and not a uh, actual physical thing like War uh, War Thunder, where you know you could shoot up there and may cause shrapnel to shoot down at your crewmen, but you know there are times where it just goes through or it just blows up in there and nothing actually happens to the crew. So uh, this kind of sucks for us, though. And uh, I've been going up over hills and getting hit there, but. Uh, like I said, as we just think about this tank as a stock tank, I know this is going to be the sore thumb that's going to get me killed. <laughs> Anyways, after looking at all this, I kind of figured, you know what? Um, I'm going to have to angle this thing. I'm going to have to keep my sides protected as much as possible. And then we take this thing out. And that's how we would uh, start, um, you know, testing some things out, the traverse and everything like that. So... Uh, that's what we're going to do next. Let's go take this thing out. We're completely stocked. Like I said, I stayed with the stock gun and everything. And we're going to see how we do. Alrighty, guys. We're in step standard battle. And uh, we are top dog. So that works to our advantage uh, using this tank. Now we are going to go against another Tiger P. We have to assume that he has the last upgrade. We won't know until we actually see him. We're going to be going against some KV-3s, which are going to be problematic because KV-3s are just trolling assholes of full armor. Uh, that's a great line for you new guys if you want to go down a line. Uh, the IS-4 line is a nice line to go down, and it is, uh, I feel, um, pretty pretty user-friendly, especially uh, new guys. So, anyways, other than that, we should be pretty good to go. The E-2 might give us a problem, but other than that, we should be okay. Now... The Tiger uh, has been known to have, you know, it's got a good gun on it once you get it upgraded and stuff like that. But it's been known to pretty much having to be a supportive heavy tank. And, um, wow, this tank is super slow. As you can see, I'm noticing this tank is slow. Look at that, that 20 degrees traverse. Very killer. Very killer. So, if you get in a tight situation, do not rely on this tank to be able to get you out of it quick. You need to set yourself up in spots that you're not going to have those problems. There we go. Nice hit. Let's see if we can hit the... Uh, no, he's going to run away. Yeah. There's that KV-3 we were talking about. Bounced off. And we didn't hit anything on that. Like I said, pretty much... You know, we've got the penetration to pin most of these guys and stuff like that. It shouldn't be too terrible for us to uh, be able to kick some ass in this game. We are, like I said, top dog and stuff. So, it uh, looks like our guys are getting um, fucked over here. Anyways, a lot of you guys, I'm going to get over here and start helping these guys out a little bit. Hopefully, it's not KB3. Um, but I'm going to show you real quick. A lot of you guys have been asking me, how do I get the minimap up there? And all you gotta do is toggle minimap right there. That's how you get the minimap to get bigger. So hopefully that helped you guys. Actually, you know what? I might just come up here and start shooting at these guys because look at this shit. They're all out in the open. I'm missing all these free shots. And if they want to stay out in the open, that's perfectly honky door and fine with me. So. How is he hitting this guy? All right, we hit his track. All righty, we got some points for hitting the track. Awesome. All righty. Ooh, Panzer SFL, maybe? Yes! All righty. And a lot of you new guys, you'll get used to that, leading your shots. Uh, just practice it. You need to, you know, when you see a tank, you see it moving, 
how slow it's moving that's how you're going to know how to adjust and get your uh, tank set up and ready to be able to um, kick some ass uh, and shoot those rounds and make sure they hit I mean even long distances when you have like the uh, ELC AMX running across or any of those fast guys you'll eventually learn like how fast they go and you'll eventually learn like where you need to shoot to be able to do this kind of stuff Ah, uh, this is gonna suck I might have to use heat rounds on this brick hey he's got some thick fucking armor there we go there's that weak spot right there kinda like my tank where it's got that up and down area um, nasty little weak spot huh? well we are going inside the turret there Let's see if we can hit there again cause that is really open it's a lot easier to hit than that little lower area alright you know it's gotta piss him off cause he's just sitting there like are you kidding me? This guy's using heat rounds because he doesn't know to hit him in the in the side of the turret right there. Or in the side of the gun. See, sometimes, guys, if you bounce, just keep trying before you switch to heat rounds. Because heat rounds, yes, they do allow you to hurt the guy and stuff like this. But, you know, learning how to shoot these guys and their weak spots, you know, finding their weak spots is, is more important than just, like, damaging them. I mean, even if you die okay from trying to find a weak spot on the tank this allows you to learn it like this is going to help you out kv-13 come here kv-13 i'm slow as fuck you're pissing me off that's what i hate about this tank it is super slow it's like slow as molasses all right dude i need you to go the other way i'm gonna go this way and by the time I get up this hill, this guy's going to be gone. He's going to be, like, running away super fast. Like an asshole. Look at him. He's going to back away. He goes so much faster than me, even in reverse. Son of a bitch. God damn it. <laughs> it's all right. It's not always about getting your hits in. It's about teamwork and winning that battle. Doing the best you can with a tank. So I haven't been able to show you guys like what I do when I first get hit, like trying to, um, you know, see how to angle myself, whether I need to angle myself, whether I need to just be full frontal on people and stuff like that. And, um, you know, every tank has their own little niche. Sometimes they, there's certain lines that play the same way. Um, oh my God, is this guy going to pop up again? I think so. There we go. Oh, I thought I hit him. It looked like a good shot. There we go. There goes his engine. Your engine is gone, Scotty. Your engine is gone. There we go. Good job, guys. All right, there's our Tiger P, and it looks like he has the bigger gun. I didn't get the chance to really look at it. As you can see, all we've been doing is, like, defending the base. Like, we're just going out there and... You know, we're taking our time. We're not trying to push it. Um, to be honest with you, that's really what you got to do with this tank because it, you're a slow tank. You got to be careful where you're going to go. Ah, son of a. Already 29,000 in silver, 2,550. Uh, 2,550 in experience points. Already, so we did 1,335 in damage. So, not terrible. Right there, like I said, I knew I was going to do amazing, amazing amount of damage. But I knew um, I had the penetration there. And it, we didn't do bad, guys. We really didn't. If we would have had the bigger gun, maybe we could have done a little bit more damage. But I'm happy with that. 21 shots fired, 12 hits uh, from us having to move around and stuff. Look at that. Five enemies damaged. Not bad at all. I don't mind that at all. Two enemies destroyed. So not bad. Not bad at all. And if that was, you know, my first time running this tank... I've been very happy with it. I would have been like, you know what? I can learn off of this tank. I'm, you know, uh, I can still see myself once I get the last upgrade, really kicking some ass in here. I do see some problems with the tank, like I said, moving slow and stuff like that. But uh, all in all, I don't think it's uh, it's been a bad tank. And that's my first impression if I had just bought the tank. Alrighty, guys. So pretty much uh, what I would do after this is I would keep taking the tank out. I would keep working on it. 
Um, usually my first day, I spend majority of the day just playing this tank. Uh, I know when you guys saw me buy it on the live stream, I did like, I I would use this tank, then a different tank, then this tank, then a different tank, uh, just so I can keep getting used to this tank. Uh, and that's how I usually do it. Just so I can keep playing the tank, getting used to it, and then throughout the week, I keep doing that too. I keep playing a lot of the, uh, of the tank that I'm working on because I want to make sure I know it for like days like today when I'm supposed to be reviewing the tank and stuff like that. I know something about it and I know, you know, what's worked for me, what hasn't worked for me. Um, and that's a good thing to go off of, guys, is just by, you know, just keep playing the tanks over and over again. You don't always have to play this tank. You can play this tank, then play a different tank. Even if this tank is back in the garage, just go to a different tank. Uh, you know, if it's aggravating you or if you just need a break from it, you know, just go back and forth. Uh, you don't want to over, you know, you don't want to burn out on this tank and then hate this tank and then struggle all the way down it. Uh, you don't want to burn yourself out and stuff like that. So, um, hopefully this video helped you guys out. I know it was a very long video, but I think it was one of those things that needed to be done. Um, welcome to the mouse line, guys. Uh, I will be doing a review on this tank, like I said. Uh, in a couple of days once I get the final package. Maybe if I get it today, I might even knock out uh, a review on it and stuff and uh, hopefully post it in the next couple of days. I don't know. I don't know. It all depends on time and stuff like that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button and uh, let me know uh, in the comments what you guys think. The like button really does help. Um, you know, we have 4,000, over 4,000 subscribers. Uh, every like helps um, It really really does it allows other people to come and join our community and stuff like that and guys You gotta admit our community has been awesome, you know, especially you guys on the live stream uh, I mean YouTube community is amazing, too, but when I get to see you guys like in On a live stream, you know, you're physically um, Well, you're not physically there, but you're there with me right then and there and you're able to talk to me and respond to me and stuff like that You guys aren't dicks we joke around a lot, but other than that, we have an amazing time. We don't have trolls and this and that. We've only had, I think, two people that I've ever had a problem with, and I've banned them. But other than that, come on. It's been fucking amazing. You guys are great. Make sure you guys check out, um, just so you know, when I do Warships, I'm going to try to do it with Ronan. Ronan's going to be helping me out with that. He also got it. A couple of you guys have the game. Uh, my gamer tag in there is Wizard Ken for Warships. If you want to join up on me, Send me uh, an invite and stuff like that, or uh, send me a friend request kind of thing so I can add you on there because it'll be a lot of fun to be able to do that on the computer and have a lot of you guys help me out. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Anyways, guys, I'm with Ken. Sorry this is super long, but it had to be done. Until next time, guys, see ya.